Hello, Kauai. This is your weekly County of Kauai briefing for Monday, November 22nd. All adult COVID-19 vaccine recipients are now eligible for booster shots. With the federal government's approval last week, all adults age 18 and older who completed their primary vaccinations are eligible for boosters. For more, we turn to Dr. Janet Behrman, Kauai District Health Officer. Thanks, Mayor. If you're 18 or older, please get a booster if you want more protection. A booster dose can help ensure a safe and healthy holiday season. It's especially important to get a booster if you are at higher risk, if you're 50 years of age or older, have underlying health conditions, or live or work in a high-risk environment. If you're 18 years of age or older and receive the two-dose Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, you're eligible for a booster dose six months or more after your second dose. If you receive the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you're eligible for a booster dose two months or more after you were vaccinated. Booster doses are not recommended for those younger than 18 years old, and they are not eligible for a booster. For more information on boosters, please visit kawaii.gov vaccine. Thanks, Dr. B. Next question, is it okay to mix and match the booster dose? If so, how should people choose which booster to get? Yes, you may mix and match your booster dose, which means that your booster dose does not need to be the same as your initial vaccine. Some of the things you might consider are what's most convenient for you. Are there differences in side effects that are of particular concern to you? And what does your own health care provider recommend? Whichever product you choose, your immunity will be boosted. All available vaccines are safe, effective, and free. Do people need a booster dose to be considered fully vaccinated for things like travel or getting into events? Not at this time in the United States. People are considered fully vaccinated when it has been two weeks or more since they completed their initial vaccinations. Booster doses are not needed to be considered fully vaccinated, even if you're eligible. Note that for international travel, there may be different requirements. Thanks, Dr. B. I already got my booster shot to protect myself, my ohana, and our team here at the county. Now for the latest on our daily case count, here is Kauai Deputy District Health Officer Lauren Guest. Thanks, Mayor. Our case count remains elevated and nearly a dozen Kauai residents are currently hospitalized. Thankfully, the count is stable and a number of cases are related to known clusters. Over the past week, our average daily case count was 15. Today, the Kauai District Health Office is reporting 16 new cases of COVID-19. Today's cases are all residents, seven are children, and nine are adults. One of the cases is related to mainland travel. The remaining 15 cases are considered community acquired. 12 of the community acquired infections are close contacts of a previously announced case or are tied to an active cluster. The remaining three cases have no known source of infection. Today's cases bring the number of active cases to 105, with 11 hospitalized and 3,076 cumulative cases. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Kauai has had 12 fatalities. We currently have eight active clusters, including one place of worship, one educational setting, one food supplier, two construction slash industrial, and three other occupational settings. We encourage parents of children aged five and older who are not yet vaccinated to consider starting their vaccination now before the holidays. The Pfizer pediatric vaccine protects your child and reduces the likelihood they'll transmit the virus to family and friends. It's free and it's available at clinics around the island this week. Minors must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. You can schedule an appointment for your child seven days a week at the Long's location at Kikui Grove. They're closed on Thursday for Thanksgiving, but open Friday and over the weekend. The other Long's locations on Kauai have adult vaccines only. Make an appointment at cvs.com vaccine. Kaiser Permanente's Lahui Clinic accepts walk-ins or advance appointments. They're open weekdays until 4.30 p.m. Appointments are available at kp.org. The Department of Health's Mobile Neighborhood Clinic will be open today, November 22nd, at the Kapa'a Neighborhood Center from 4 to 6 p.m. It's open to ages 5 to 11 only, and no appointments are needed. Wilcox Medical Center's clinic for ages 5 to 11 is open this Tuesday, November 23rd, from 3 to 7 p.m. Appointments are required at this location. Visit wilcoxhealth.org vaccine. Kauai Veterans Memorial Hospitals Clinic will be open for ages 5 to 11 next week, Wednesday, December 1st, from 2 to 5 p.m. No appointments are needed at KVMH. It is walk-in only. 
A full list of locations and links is posted at kawaii.gov slash vaccine. Thanks, Lauren. We hope all of you out there have a safe and enjoyable Thanksgiving. County of Kauai offices will be closed on Thursday, November 25th. That includes all refuse transfer stations, the Kikaha landfill, all neighborhood centers, the Waimea and the Kapa'a swimming pools, the Hanapepe Farmer's Market, and our free COVID-19 testing center at the Convention Hall as well as the mobile testing van in Kilauea. The schedule for residential refuse pickup will remain unchanged. The Koi bus will be operating on its current daily schedule. Regular business hours for county offices and services will resume on Friday, November 26. If you feel sick, please don't go to work or school. Get a free COVID test. The convention hall is open weekdays from 8.30 to 3.30. They will be closed this Thursday and Friday, November 25th and 26th. They will reopen on Monday, November 29th. Lehue Pharmacy offers free tests seven days a week from 9 to 5. Make an appointment at preventcovidhi.com. Our mobile testing van will be open in Keka on Wednesday, Hanalei on Saturday, and Kapa'a on Sunday. It is open from 9 to 1 each day, but is closed this Thursday and Friday. No appointments are needed, and the tests are free. For a full list of testing locations, visit koi.gov forward slash COVID tests. Remember everyone, if you travel, please get tested three to five days after you return. If you gather, stay outdoors, wear a mask when around others, stay home when sick, and get vaccinated if you can. Mahalo Koi.